careful. Checking out some hammy. Listen, you're looking at hamstrings. You're looking for more. <laughs> I don't care who you are. <laughs> if I start eyeballing a hamstring, I'm looking at that fucking chode in the back of that sack. He must work out. <laughs> They don't make good movies like that anymore. Fuck no, they don't. Not a <laughs> like, single damn one. Like, there's so many... You're not even allowed to say three quarters of the shit that was in movies five years ago. No. Uh-uh. Oh, man. Oh, man. You're right. That coffee is fucking serious. Yeah. Like a... It's a slap in the face. Feels like a, like a, like a different kind of coffee, like there's drugs in it. <clears throat> it does taste like a drug coffee. Like, I, I immediately... I'm, I'm immediately hot. I was cold a minute ago. Now I'm hot. I'm sweating. It smells like gas. Gasoline. <laughs> Good fuel. I love it. I love it. I love it. All right. Well, this is quite the fucking morning, gentlemen. Quite the week. <laughs> Holy quite the shit. Week. I don't even know what happened, but it's nice out. Look at that sky. It's mm-hmm. definitely fucking chilly out. We're all warm and cozy with our new new sweaters and sweatshirts on. Love it. I love this new jumper. <laughs> That's a thick bitch right there. <laughs> All right, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to the HWMF podcast. I am your host, Seth Frosi, here with my heterosexual life mate, Bob. Good morning. We have Shane. Hello. And Mr. Meehoff over in the corner. He's How's it a going? Guy. Yep. <laughs> Hello, Jack. <laughs> Again, David Spade, Chris Farley. <laughs> Meehoff. Yeah. <laughs> I got it, dude. <laughs> Thanks, man. Uh, Love it. But, oh, um,. God. No, I know the Sherpa. We got quite the release. The holidays are here. Biggest event for our companies every fucking year. Black Friday. It's crazy how it set the tone for everything we've done. Yeah. Black Friday is always great. It's the biggest discounts we do. This year, I have, like, it was really intense over the past month. Yeah. Like two. Maybe little, like maybe like the past six months. A little chaotic. A little, little much. Yeah. But that Sherpa that you have on right yep. now yep. is... The greatest thing that we have done to date, in my opinion. I agree. These hoodies, the, this this work hoodie, somebody, I, I told, I made the post where, story post where this was my favorite color yeah. of all time. You know, because I told you I want this color. Yep. And uh, and this dude, uh, he hit me up. He's like, he's like, dude, you look like a fucking pumpkin spice latte. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, absolutely fucking delicious. <laughs> but... <clears throat> All the custom stuff that we've done with these work hoodies, like, they're durable. Like, we made hoodies that I wanted to buy whenever I was working outside. Yeah. The athletic hoodies, the ones that you want to be your pump cover that stretch but still look fucking cool. Like, it took us a long time. That's great. But that Sherpa is an absolute fucking stellar item. We we wanted it to feel like you were grabbing a fucking... Carhartt hoodie. Better or, than a or, Carhartt. Or your outdoor work hoodie that you yes. legit go to the boot store, you get your boots, you get your work hoodie. Yep. We wanted it to be like that, and it is, I'd say it's above and beyond. I, I'm i saying it's above because I've been working in it. Did yeah. all the releases. I've been splitting wood, carrying wood, cut down the fucking 22-foot tree we have in there right now. <laughs> yep. I did everything in that, and I'm like, it was 26 degrees the morning I cut that fucking tree down. I had on the long sleeve T-shirt and then the Sherpa. I was sweating yeah. in this fucking thing. I'm getting warm right now. I, I was going to say, it's coming off in five minutes. It is, for sure. But it's it's great because the concept, everything that we did in the, the visualization of it and then uh, creating it on paper, creating it, uh, the, the samples when they come in, trying them on, trying the different thicknesses of Sherpa, everything. Like, dude. Like, I couldn't be more proud to be an owner of this company and build it with the team that we have. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, I mean, like, this this hoodie took 10 weeks m- more than any other hoodie we've yeah, designed. Yes. And that that's not, and that's taken away the the other three months of design work and sampling. And this was a six to seven month process just to find and, and source everything. Yes. And then another two to... Put it all together. Yep. Like the custom taping that you did on the inside. The, the fact that the hood, the fact that the hood is oversized. Am I stuck? No. Uh-uh. You're up. You got to go back up. Yeah. The fact that the hood is oversized so you can wear it outside. Yep. 
That's all yeah. the little details that we went into. All of them. I love it. I'm. I want like a blanket made out of this. <laughs> well, so Adeline and Hannah said the same. Did they? Thing. Yeah. Adeline's like, "Where's my Sherpa?" Like dead serious. Like not even fucking around. Because how many? Remember years ago, how she wore that Sherpa literally every day. Every single day. When Adeline was like seven or eight years old, she had this shirt that was given to her at Christmas from a gift. The bitch wore it every day for like a year. Yep, I remember. Like she was wearing it in the summertime. Yep. Like if it got a little bit cold outside, Sherpa went on. Like the wind blew, Sherpa goes on. I remember on. you'd have to be like, hey, we're washing the thing today. Yeah. It's getting washed today. It's gone for a day. Like I, I literally lived through that moment when a kid was like attached to something. Mm -hmm. I'm like, man, this is a little fucking weird, dude. What's going on in your head? But... um. No, we have the release. Everything that we have, we have so many great items. Mm -hmm. It is the coolest release we've done. We have more custom items than ever before. Yeah. And it's really cool because that's the we have so many more things planned for next year that have built off of everything that we're doing. Like, we nailed the hoodies. Yep. Best hoodies, I think. I think so, too. I mean, and that that's <clears throat> the hardest part about this entire process is nailing that sizing. You know, that now that we've... From the general consensus from you guys, we, we've hit tall and lean, short and thick, and there's something for everyone. I'm Now that we have the sizing down, now it's like whatever we can conceptualize, the look, the feel, the fabric, we implement our sizing, and it's, it's yes. yeah. I love it. True fit the size, whatever you wear, that's what you buy. Yep. Um, know that if you dry the fuck out of any item of clothing, it's going to shrink a little bit. Yeah. Any anything. <laughs> it goes for anything. Yeah. The items that we have, um, you know, it's always recommended to tumble dry on cool to warm mm -hmm. and then hang dry to finish. It's always what's for any type of hooded item, in my opinion. That's yeah. what my mom told me to do. Yep. I mean, even though I dry the fuck out of just about everything, just like every other person, yeah. things do shrink. Pay attention to that. Yeah, like Kim will, like even my T-shirts, like yeah. Kim will throw them in the dryer to get the wrinkles out, and then she pulls them out and hangs them up. Well, that, that, that goes I mean, for... Just, the, it just lasts longer. They that's do. what I was just going to say. It lasts longer. Like, we have well water, mm -hmm. incredibly hard well water. Yeah. Um, getting this next week, hopefully, uh, my line gets installed into the house where I can switch back and forth and utilize city water and well water for different parts of my house. Yeah. Kind of got to do a lot of work in the plumbing, but it's going to work because we live in a ranch. Drop the ceiling and fix everything. Set it all up. Super cool. Oh right. But yeah. um. But washing my clothes and and fucking uh, well water kills. It yeah. just beats the shit out of it. But um, we have a lot of cool shit. What do we have? Seven hooded items. Eight. Uh, no, seven. Three. Se seven hoodies. Three. No, four. Seven. Six S to seven. Se yeah, a lot. <laughs> this is like two. Yeah, it counts as basically two. two. Um, but, all right, so we'll go through everything real quick. We have uh, uh, the other thing that I'll mention is the hat that I have on my head. I think Lydia and Britt and, uh, and Nick. They know it's your favorite. They right? know it's my favorite hat now. <laughs> they know that I've been dying for a patch hat for three fucking years. They busted my balls a little bit. But it's, it's a, it's a, th it's a two-in-one hat. You get the patch with it, and the logo's on it. Still looks cool without a patch. And then we have patches to go on top of it as well. Yep. So you can buy the patch pack with this hat, and then you have five fucking hats. Yeah. Hat fit. The fitment on this hat's my favorite. Yeah, that's, uh, it's like, it's like those nice, like, shallow, like, range hats. Yeah. But, like, without it being, like, it still has that solid fitment. Yeah, it doesn't fucking push my ears down, because I got the little troll ear thing. Yep. It doesn't push them down and make me look weird. And then it's uh, just a great, comfy fit. Mm -hmm. Because right now, sourcing, everybody knows in the entire world now, sourcing is a cunt, so we started doing our own custom shit. Had to. Yep. yep. Put it on us. Um, go through it. Discounts. Big discounts. Prices go up, everyone. Prices do go up. Inflation right now is a real thing. We've gotten hammered with logistics, and between Axe and Sledge and All-American Roughneck, we've been... Our team kills it with logistics, always pushing for better pricing with everything. Um, but with certain items, we can't... We just, it, it, the prices go up on everything. Yep. However, for Black Friday weekend, we are doing the slash through pricing of what we would have done the year before anyway. Yes. Last year. Yep. So t-shirts, uh, originally they're twenty four ninety nine, 
Uh, we're going to raise the prices to twenty set twenty eight ninety nine yep. is what we is what we set them at. Mm-hmm. Um, but for Black Friday, we're doing a slash through pricing to twenty two ninety nine. Yeah, that's what we did last year for our t shirt. So we're going to do the same thing this year for it. Yeah, we we couldn't we couldn't mark it up and and drop it down to no, like it yeah, just didn't make sense a, to us. That's a dickhead move. It is. So we're we're giving that discount forward to you guys and then yeah. after the extravaganza this weekend back to our new yeah prices new are, normal prices. Yeah. So uh which is I mean doing everything this way is like you got we got to be transparent and just say how the fuck it is like it's not really high. People already charge thirty dollars for T-shirts. Yep. The same T-shirts that we've been charging twenty five nine twenty four ninety nine for, people have been charging thirty four already. And I'm like, were well, you guys going to jack your prices up? Because prices are going up. Yeah. We watched them go up. Mm-hmm. So, <clears throat> but we're still going to run all of our uh, the deals this year. The slash through pricing on all the items on the website, and then uh, since we got uh, really great pricing on our hoodies, and we ordered, we ordered a lot of hoodies. Yes, we did. So it was exciting. Yeah, we. Uh, the tiers on the giveaways for All American Roughneck. Every order gets a sticker sheet. Mm-hmm. At a hundred dollars, you're going to have the choice of this sick keychain, which Mike found a new leather dealer. Which these are fire keychains, guys. Bro, this is a real, like, real leather keychain. Yeah, it's not shit. That's what I love so much. We didn't sh- do shit trinkets. Yeah, you know, like this is a, this is a fucking. I'm excited. I'm probably going to have this as long as I've had my carabiner, which is 12. like twelve years. <laughs> Literally. Uh, literally. <laughs> Seriously. Or uh, we have three different colors of the um, of these uh, keychains. Key or we'll have this really cool money clip. Yep. Cool beans. And then at $200, mm-hmm. you get the sticker sheet, the keychain, or the money clip, whichever one you choose, or a hoodie of your choosing between the flannel print AAR work hoodie or the repeat pump cover. Yep. So you can get a pump cover for free this release. Fuck yeah. Super cool. <laughs> I did get messages from people, uh, like friends, they're like, that flannel print's sick. Like, that's the holiday print for me. That's the one. I'm like, that's the one that you, like, I got hit up three, to- three times this morning. Yeah. They were like, uh, make sure, like, can you make sure I get a flannel print? I'm like, yeah, I can, like, just because you're close friends, but, like, don't do it to me the day before, you fucks. <laughs> that's a tough request. Like, <laughs> I, 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 the, the, the the few people I really, I mean, they do everything for me that I need, so I'm yeah. just busting their balls. Yeah, for sure. To. Yeah. Yeah. But, um, but yeah, I mean, the flannel print, it's, uh, even Hannah was like, she's like, I think the flannel print's my, is, is my favorite work hoodie, because it has that holiday vibe to it. You know what I mean? Yep. You can wear, like, a color with it, a green cat, a Santa Claus cap, like, go to Christmas or a party or anything like that. Mm-hmm. Indoor, outdoor. That was like a last minute design too. I'm on on you, Bob. You it, killed it. It's the one. Yeah, I like. I really like that the printers uh, or the manufacturers how black our black is. Yeah, like it doesn't fade. Mm-hmm. It stays super black. Mm-hmm. John's gonna kill me. <laughs> He's gonna be like, "Yeah, I, I stay that way." <laughs> <laughs> they they are though, because I I I noticed like. Other garments, like, they, they eventually fade. All like, the Gildans that we did were, like, a, we couldn't do, like, wear black, black pants with them because it looked gray then. Yeah, it looked like a charcoal gray. It's like, God damn it, this is a brand new hoodie. I wash it once and it got fuzzies and all this shit. Yeah. It literally up to my belly button. <laughs> Fuck. You like charge me $22 for this goddamn Gildan? <laughs> Fuck you guys. I feel like Arnold Schwarzenegger in that one movie. He's like, you with your 42% body fat, and you scrawny fuck. Fuck you guys. What movie is that? I don't I don't remember. It was it's it's one of his later movies, but that I'm I can't get that that saying out of my head. He's like, you with your 42% body fat, and you, you scrawny little fuck. Fuck you guys. I love that. That's um, but really cool stuff. Yeah. I'm it's stacked, man. I know that I, blog was like a mile long. Uh, it was a good job. Yeah, really good job. The team killed it. Uh, everybody's ready. But the fun part that I want to go over. Usually, you and I do this in private, but I figured on the podcast we could do it right now. Yeah. What is? What are we talking? Hot items. Oh yeah. Oh Hot yeah. Hot items. Which item do you think is going to be the big seller? Yeah. Like which one's going to get smoked first? Because the traffic is crazy. Everyone. The release is at on Thanksgiving night. Yeah. 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. 8 p.m. Be there. Be ready. 
slash through pricing so you don't got to put in a fucking discount code. Mm -hmm. We're going through everything. I mean, some items are marked down 25%. Yeah. Some, some items are marked down 15%, but they are all marked down. Mm -hmm. Some of the items that we've had on the site from previous releases are marked down like 35%. So there is something there for everybody. But be there at 8 o'clock. Please. Please. Yep. And if you fuck up anything, like your address or a shirt size or anything, our customer service team is working Thanksgiving night. Mm -hmm. They are working Thanksgiving night to service you and your beautiful dick. Mm -hmm. So make sure that if you fuck up, you hit them up immediately and be patient, please. Yeah. And our ser our customer service team is excited to work together on Thanksgiving. They're going to have drinks. So maybe send them like, uh, I love you and tell them how uh, tell them how great and big their dick is. Mm -hmm. Some of them are females and they'll still understand. <laughs> buy them around. Yeah, buy them around. We should set them up like we a Venmo a account. <laughs> we should. And, like, and, and actually set up like a time lapse of everybody doing... Sh no, <laughs> we can't have... <laughs> No, that'd be no bad. they. We need them. We need, we <laughs> need them to be retract on. Retract that whole concept. They're not drinking. Don't bend the. No, no, no drinking. No drinking. Actually, uh, uh, the free gifts uh, will automatically appear in the cart. Look at this you fucking, fucking, fucking tech them. savvy fucking over there, magician. Man, yeah. we've gotten like everything's going to pop up. So whenever a hoodie mm -hmm. pops up, you'll just have to choose between the hoodie. Uh, the work or the pump cover, mm -hmm. and then you'll have to choose whether you want the keychain or the uh, money clip. Correct. And, and you can also buy the flannel hoodie and the repeat pump cover. Yeah, you can buy those as well. Yeah. So if you wanted the repeat and the flannel or the flannel and the repeat, you'll still be able to do so, buy it, and then get it for free. Mm -hmm. And if you want two hoodies, say you're like, oh, I want to spend $400 instead of $200, you have to put two orders in. Yep. You can't, yep. It, it won't double up because that's not part of the system. Right. Back-end software systems, what I've learned, are like women. They're super intricate. You think they're easy. You think it's easy to do, and you look at it and be like, I could figure this out. And then a week in, you're like, I need to hire somebody to service this. <laughs> it's, it's like it should work. It should. This should be a good relationship. You're hot. I'm hot. Look at your ass. Look at my dick. This should work. <laughs> An hour later, our heads do not match. Fuck you. You're crazy, bitch. <laughs> That's software to me. Yep. I stay away from it. So Shane can't get away from it. He no. loves it, huh? Yeah. Go after the crazy ones. That's it. But, all right, so, big items. Big items. Big items. I know what um, I'm choosing. I know what I think the big item, two, there's two that stick out to me, and I think they will get smoked very quickly. Three, actually. Number one is the Cosmic Gummy Bear and Deadlift Team. Yep. I think that's the one. <clears throat> it is, dead, Deadlifts and Gummy Bears is a staple with Axe and Sledge and All-American Roughneck now. I think it's one of the best flavors that we've ever done, and it's the best T-shirt, the most we've ever sold. This one is, I think it's going to rival the original. Yeah, it's the first colorway that's going to rival the, the white on blue. Oh, yeah. For sure. I And the hat that goes with it, mm -hmm. I think it's fire. Yep. It's it, it's a T-shirt that I know, like, I'm like, oh, that T-shirt's twenty two ninety nine. Yeah, I'm an asshole not to get it. Yep. I'm going to wear it on deadlifts day. Yeah, I'm going to deadlift 700 pounds in a cosmic fucking shirt. <laughs> yeah, Just fuck up, up, fucking shut up, dude. Let's go. <laughs> like, that's how my head works with that. So I think that's the, uh, I think that'll be the big seller. I'm like, I'm torn. Oh, okay. Yeah, there's like, the the hoodies are, are what throwing me off. I don't know. Like, I want to think the Sherpa is going to be the hot commodity. I, um, but that, then. That, that was up there for me. But yes. then like the camo pump cover mm. is like. Camo pump cover smoked. I feel like it's being unsaid too. Yes. Like it's everyone's favorite and they. we. It's an automatic in everybody's head already. They're not even bringing it up. They're like, oh yeah, camo pump cover is getting added first. It's the coolest pump cover we've done because of the custom camo, the axes and sledges, the stitching yeah. that you did. Mm -hmm. Fire. All the way around. Yeah. Fire. And then the hats, I think. I'm uh, buying both. I'm buying both hats. Mm -hmm. If it was me, I'm buying both hats and the patch pack. Yeah. If I was trying to like see like what I would do. Yeah, we got to do that too. M my game plan with like purchasing like that is out of control. We got to slow down here. We got to think of you at a different point in your life, not Bob now, because Bob this now you'd literally buy one of everything probably. Yeah, you're pretty close to it. I would. Yeah. I definitely. <laughs> you, you still definitely do some of its things now. I hate not having all the things. Like if I'm so missing, we can't, we can't. if I'm missing one from like a set of something, fucks with me. So hard. let's say, let's say, uh, like if I had a list 
and I had to spend like I would look at it this way like between me and Hannah if I was like what am I buying I'd probably buy like $250 worth of shit that's how I'd look at it yep like Christmas time around 250 bucks Mm -hmm. because I definitely in my head I'm getting the free item yeah like that's how I want I want the trinkets I want I want this I mean I this the one I chose was the I love I just love leathery khaki looking shit that's Mm -hmm. my thing I love it so I'm like I'm getting the keychain and I'm getting a hoodie Mm -hmm. getting a hoodie for free so I'm spending 200, 250 bucks guaranteed. Yeah. So cosmic gummy bear shirts in it. Mm-hmm. The two patch hats are in it. I'm getting the camo pump cover. I'm getting the Sherpa. <laughs> Fuck. Well, you're well over 200. Then. Yeah. I think you're good. Now. <laughs> yeah. I think you got the free hoodie. And then I get the, and then I get the, get I the, get the, uh, the, the flannel print. Yeah. Work hoodie. Yep. Fuck me, dude. Fuck me. Yeah. It's tough. That's I'm buying I mean. this hoodie too because this this is the one I like the most. Yep. Fuck, I might be at three fifty. Because mm-hmm. you didn't even include a long sleeve yet, and I didn't even include Hannah. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, dude, this is a nightmare for people. Oh, this is a tough Make, one. Making choices here. I'm over here like buying everything, and I'm like, because the, the long sleeves, like I've worn the long. I wore so this is what I've done so far. <laughs> I've worn the long sleeve like to wear around mm-hmm. in the office. And then I've worn it at home, like in like loungy clothes. Yeah. Because they're stupid comfortable. Yeah. Like they're a soft material that looks good on you. It has a good hang around your chest. Mm-hmm. Fuck. The black, the brick on black, is my is my favorite long sleeve. And then the orange just looks good for holiday shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. That was custom dye. Custom. Color. We custom dyed the fucking shirts too. Yep. Man, this release fucking suck. It was a cool release. It was the coolest release we've ever done. There, there's literally, I, well, I think it was 37 items. Yeah. Yeah. 30, 38. Had a couple beanies come in late. Yeah. Really pumped about the beanies showing up, too. Yep. I think there's 46 items. Shane's the one that entered them all. Shane would know best. <laughs> <laughs> we have kids' items. The 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 women's uh, long sleeve crop top, that yeah. crop top... Uh, uh, sweatshirt mm-hmm. Hannah's like Hannah likes bougie shit mm-hmm. she likes Lululemon pants and she's super particular about her hoodies mm-hmm. she loves the stretch hoodies yeah. fucking loves them so that's why I'm, I judge things off of her because she's like she's weird with clothes like a little bitchy about it mm-hmm. I love you sweetheart um, <laughs> but when it comes to pants she's like Lululemon dude Yeah, she's like I, that's my shit and that whenever she put on the long sleeve crop top she's like this is the nicest woman's item you've done yet. I'm like, you think so? And she's like, this thing is fucking awesome. Nice, yeah. And she's a small, but she wore, uh, we had a hiccup with our printer sending us, like, what was right. So she put on the long, sl- uh, a long, or fuck, a, a large. large. And, like, she's like, this is the size I'd actually be okay with. I'm like, really? She's like, yeah, I'm, I'm just going to ha- wear around the house. She's like, if I was wearing it out, she's like, I'd probably get, uh, a small like if I'm lip training in it, yeah. But she's like, like she's like, I love the large, I like it. Mm-hmm. So it's pretty cool. It's a nice crew neck, bro. We did a lot of really, really nice stuff. Yeah, really, I'm really proud of the team. Everything that you've put into it, Dickless has put into it, I've put into it, Shane. Everybody that everything that everybody's done for it is awesome. Yeah, it was big effort this year, <laughs> and down to the wire. It's We're, always down to the wire. We started this fucking bitch five years ago. Five years ago, we started this fucking thing. Five and a half, mm-hmm. almost six. Wow, six come January. Yep. Six years. We did it with 2200 bucks, And now we're doing custom items by the tens of thousands. Bro, that is wild. I, my, I'm on my memories. The, the marketing shots from... Our first Black Friday came up. Man. You and the flannel out in the snow. Yeah. Like, me and Jay happened to be out here when it was snowing. And uh, those flannels, I think we bought, like, 40. Yeah. Like, total. Yeah. Like, 40 flannels. Because we couldn't afford them. No. I remember. No. I remember. It I was, was like, like, almost like buying them off the rack and paying for them to get embroidered. And then we'd make a couple bucks. <laughs> I, I, I look back. And I'm like, how the fuck? And it was, but the thing is, it's just, it's just perseverance mm-hmm. and literally just working 
chipping away at it. Yep. It's like using a chisel on a piece of stone. You're just fucking chipping away at it. There's mm-hmm. no big fucking smack that you're going to do. Nope. Because if there is, you have the potential of breaking it in half and ruining everything. Mm-hmm. Man. We didn't even talk about Axe and Sledge. No. <laughs> Doing 20% off on Axe and Sledge. We haven't done that yet. Never. 20% off on Axe and Sledge. Mm-hmm. Free shaker with every order. Yep. Uh, lanyard at 50 bucks. Mm-hmm. Free lanyard, so at 50 bucks. And another they're fire lan- lanyards, too. We found the manufacturer that does all the MLB stuff for all the memorabilia that you buy at baseball games. Yeah. Those lanyards, same one we did. Yeah. You're welcome. We got great purchasing manager. <laughs> they find anything. That's the coolest part. Like everything that, like we have a team of people that just fucking stiff dick shit. It, it's and it's all in like worlds that I have no interest in. Like like they're so great at these other things, and I'm like I am staying away from calling and trying to line this shit up. I won't fucking deal with you. No, but I got somebody who is ready to fucking bite your ass. Yep. Like that's the coolest thing in the world. <laughs> like, but then it's like if you piss these people off, like mm-hmm. you piss Shane off to a point where Shane comes to me and says. This guy's a little bit of a prick. Then he doesn't have What's to say his any, address. He doesn't have to say anything else except give me the motherfucker's phone number. I'm jumping down this cunt's throat because yep. if you piss him off, you had to really piss him off because yep. he is patient and he knows that he gets paid to do a good job. Yep. You're gonna deal with me. And it might ruin the relationship. I'm sorry. I love you. Shane's like fuck. I wanted you to like reprimand him, not like, <laughs> not threaten his life, not burn the bridge. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> Burn the bridge. We can fucking swim. <laughs> we'll get to the other side. I'm fucking Iron Man. <laughs> <laughs> I'll bike across this goddamn thing and then swim. Uh, but uh, yeah, twenty percent off the uh, shaker mm-hmm. keychain at fifty, and then at one hundred and fifty dollars, free hoodie, free accent sledge hoodie. That hoodie's awesome. Yep. It's blackout with green, uh, with neon green accents. Yep. Stre- stretch hoodie. Yep. Athletic fit hoodie. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. I mean, fuck, we've never done 20% off. Ah, didn't even get into these yet. These fucking things. So we have three new limited release. These are actually limited. I've said this a number of times. They're actually limited because we can't have 32 flavors of the grind. We can't have 32 flavors all the time. I wish we could, though. I think, like, dude, we've, well, in the beginning when we had a few flavors, and then we're like, oh, we can't have more than six. And then all of a sudden it turned into 12. All of a sudden we had 12. We didn't even talk about it. Yeah. It we just, just kept adding them. The shipping crews, or the warehouse crews, like, where the fuck are we putting these things? You guys literally just ordered 50,000 fucking homemades. Where am I supposed to put these goddamn things? <laughs> <laughs> so these flavors now we've always been light and refreshing with all of our flavors like yep. we like it that way because i think uh like i preferred it that way however we never had any punch you in the fucking mouth get you like, mm, like puckered up puckered up <laughs> go fuck yourself <laughs> no fuck, fuck off <laughs> <laughs> we did th- nobody else could do a mother pucker series no no. So we came up with this concept because Heather, our uh, our product specialist, uh, she's in charge of bringing in new flavors. And she's like, why don't we have anything sour? Why don't we have anything overbearing? And we're like, really? And she's like, I love sour shit. And we take what she says pretty serious because she's she's on it. Yeah. And I'm like, actually, a sour flavor, we should have one. Mm-hmm. So uh, she, she brought him in. This was a while ago. And then we're like, this would be pretty Why don't we do it for Black Friday? <laughs> so we put it in. Uh, we sampled like six different sours, and these are the ones that we chose. Yeah, they are smack you in the fucking mouth, but very refreshing because I drank it all day. I drank all three yesterday. Yeah, same. So, one. <laughs> Which one's your favorite? Um, I'm split down the center between two. Oh, really? Yeah. So the sour candy, the rainbow candy. Yeah, yeah, and then the uh, the lime, kiwi, the kiwi lime. lime. Kiwi lime's my shit. Yep. Kiwi lime's my shit, and then my second is between those two of the sour candy and the blue raz. Yeah. Mike uh, did the blog, and he was saying, you know, the blue raspberry lemonade is not like your mom's lemonade. I'm like, no, this is de- this is definitely the whore. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> this, that's fucking <laughs> little sour fe- whore. A little feisty. Yeah. yeah, the one that you love to fuck but just can't be around her for too long. <laughs> That's why it's limited. Yeah, that's why yeah. it's super limited. Yeah. yeah. 
But uh, these are limited. These are limited release uh, flavors. Mm-hmm. Um, well, word on the street is is we're going to see which ones you guys like best. Yeah. And then potentially just bring one of them back and maybe have sour flavors of a few different items. Yeah. In that, have a mother pucker series of one of these special, spectacular, tasty, delicious sour flavors. Yeah, they're really good. Heather's doing such a good job with everything, and when we sample, she's able to take all the bullshit that we throw at her. And then get the new flavors of what we just said in this fucked up meeting. Yep. And then take it to our manufacturer and get it get it redone. She's like, which one do you want to do? We'll do all of them. <laughs> Let's do all three. She's like, no, seriously. Like, yeah, seriously. Yeah, we're like, seriously, Let's do all three. three. Yeah. We should well, do a video based around these. <laughs> like the greens. Like, that's actually how it happens. Like yeah. that, No, like that video of the greens is exactly what we do to Heather. Yes. <laughs> like daily. Yeah. 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 She's. And she, but she and she's she doesn't know if we're joking or serious because we have such dry, sarcastic, fucked up senses of humor. Uh huh. Yeah. She's yeah. She still doesn't get it. <laughs> she's uh-huh. been here for how long? She been here? Uh, wow. like Eight six, nine months? Yeah, over six Couple months. Years. <laughs> Feels like it. Yeah. Um these these mother pucker series uh, are available as a stack as well. You can buy all three flavors. At like the same shame. time. Fucking software engineer over there. Yep. He's yep. like, I'm going to stroke my ego this entire podcast. Can, uh, I just want people to know. Can people from Ohio buy it in a stack or no? Uh, we had to work out some kinks with that one. but Yeah. yeah. I think they pay more for them. Yeah. yeah. Ohio yeah. pays more. <laughs> <laughs> we should implement an Ohio, like a, like an Ohio, an Ohio tax. tax. Yeah. <laughs> I could do that. It gets wired right to that, Shane. That's going <laughs> to... Matt's gonna look at fucking. He's gonna look at all the numbers and be like, "Why are Ohio numbers down?" Well, we're charging them more. Actually, he's gonna be, "Are you fucking serious? I'm gonna kill you guys." Why is there a six point nine percent tax on Ohio? <laughs> that would be funny as hell. Oh, that dude, would be hilarious. Last night, whenever I started the fucking the live feed last night, everybody, thank you for joining the live feed. It was really fun. Um, so everybody's like, I saw somebody was from Hawaii and I'm like, fuck yeah, bucket list. And then everybody started saying where they were from and I'm reading through it. And somebody said, Mass- Massachusetts. And I'm like, fuck yeah, Massachusetts. But uh, the only reason that popped in my head was, you know, that shithead Steve or trash can Paul fucking Instagram pages. Yeah. yeah. It was a, it was a Massachusetts uh, state outline. Uh-huh. And then. It said massive two shits. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot get that out of my fucking head now. Yeah. It's like Wednesday. Like, how do you spell wed- Wednesday? Wednesday. Yep. Yep. Now, whenever I think of Ma- Massachusetts, it's immediately like massive two shits. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my, I stopped myself before I say it. I fucking died. It's that just that dumb personal shit that you think is funny. I'm going to say that out loud all the time. That's I'm, I almost did it every time I just said it. You were careful. I noticed you were like, careful. <laughs> Don't say massive two shits. You're gonna end up like Shane in Ohio. Everybody will fucking hate you. Yep. Boston massive two shits. <laughs> I'll laugh too at every time someone tells me where they're from. I know. Oh, I love it, dude. I love this time of year. Yeah, I absolutely love it. I love. It's crazy how it sets in quick. Right, like last week, I was like, "Man, doesn't feel like the holidays," you know, just because like we have like very little time to actually just like yeah. slow down and think. Yeah, busy time of year. And then all of a sudden, this like everything's finally getting wrapped up, and like you get that feeling of like, okay, holidays here. Yeah, it's busy, but like we have like a day with the fam and can reflect and all this shit. I'm like, okay, now it feels like fucking Christmas yeah. already. You know? Yeah, I love it. And and the cool thing is, is uh, what we're doing. Like, we're the ones creating an energy. You know what I mean? Like, this release and how great it is. There's something for everybody. Get your dad a hoodie. Get your mom a fucking hoodie. Mm-hmm. Get, get, just, we're, what our team has done to create this. And then the holidays. And we love the holidays. But then what happens after the holidays? What we have planned for right after the holidays to get you fat bastards back into shape is beautiful. We are doing another HWMF transformation challenge. Yep. After you've enjoyed the holidays, had a cookie or two, we're going to be doing another HWMF transformation challenge, and it will be twice as big as last year. Yep. We're going to put fifty grand on the line. We're going to do 
the first place winners are going to win more money. We're going to have tiered winners for male and female overall body transformation. And we're doing another uh, most shredded challenge you know, that's going to be even better than it was last year. So I love how you and I have been talking about all this good shit for years. And now we're actually like all these things are being executed with the team that we have yeah. to make all this cool shit happen. Like, dude, 50 grand. Okay. Did you ever actually think we'd given away 25 grand at the last challenge? No. Let alone, like, right when they won. We were like, yes, here's your checks. Yeah. This year we're going to give away. 2022, we're giving away $50,000. Mm-hmm. How cool is that? That's really fucking cool. Dude, that's fucking, that's crazy. That is fucking insane to me. Yet... That's why we built everything the way we built it, Mm -hmm. is so that we can do really cool shit. Because all the back-end work that Carly and the customer service team has done, the athlete team has done to make sure that we're going to do something cool. (laughs) Fuck yeah. Yeah, and I mean, these... It is not easy to do a a very successful challenge like this. Because, you know, it it is easy for for any company just to spin up a challenge. I can give away 50 grand. Everyone sends their their pictures in via email. You don't hear from anyone for eight to ten weeks. And then a winner happens. Then you barely even hear an announcement about the winner. I mean, we we wanted to do this in such a way. I mean, hell, we brought in more customer service. Just for the challenge. Just because of these challenges. Yes. Because we want you to feel part of a, a, a team, a support group, a a group of people that aren't going to let you fail no. at this. You are part of a group. Mm-hmm. That's what that was our goal to do this so that like you felt the shit. Yep. Like you said, like whenever you said the other day, you're like, these people need to have a purpose mm-hmm. to show the money and the incentive is great. And that's <laughs> motherfucker. 50 grand is a lot of money. Yeah. But like the, the the what people are going to gain through this and with all these people is what's going to be great. Yep. So holidays. Cool shit. Yep. And then we get to all do. I'm, I mean, I'm. I'm not gonna say it, but I'll say it. I'm gonna get in shape. Mm-hmm. I'm getting fucking stupid shape, like out of control. People might think I might do a show shape. Maybe I don't know. It depends on how many fucking cookies I eat over the past month, <laughs> over the next month. <laughs> I love it. But Thanksgiving's tomorrow. Is that tomorrow? Thanksgiving's tomorrow. Yes. Yep. Well, yeah. Today's Wednesday. Today's Wednesday. Whole yeah, I kept thinking it's hell? in two days. I don't know why. What's your what's fuck? Your... I have a lot of work to do today yet. <laughs> Same. <laughs> she, she's like, "Can you wrap this fucking thing up? We gotta get going here." <laughs> but um, so all this cool stuff, everybody. Eight p.m. Yep. Thursday night, Thanksgiving Day night, eight p.m. Eastern Standard Time, All American Roughneck. Yep. Go check out the blog. Go see everything. Pick your units. Pick out what you want. All that happy stuff. Axe and Sledge, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. All your shit. Yep. There is a code, 20% off. What is the code again? It's BF20. BF20. Yep. Valid on axeandsledge.com. Axe and Sledge. AAR has no discount code. We're doing slash through pricing. Yep. Yes. Awesome. But now we're in the holidays. Tomorrow's Thanksgiving. I'm a big foodie. Yeah. I'm only. I'm not too much uh, into food every day now mm-hmm. because I have to be healthy. I got to watch everything. Yep. It feels great. I feel phenomenal. Yeah, look great. Uh, <laughs> blood work looks just as good as I look. Okay, <laughs> that's what I'm fucking pumped about. Heart rate, <laughs> sixty beats a minute. Fuck yeah, it's great. It's killer. Uh, but food on Thanksgiving. We all know that Christmas is everybody's favorite food holiday. Mm-hmm. But what's like? What, what's the go-to? What's your plate look like on Thanksgiving? Or is there something that sticks out that you're like, I have to have it every Thanksgiving? Is, what, is there an item that you have to have other than turkey? I feel like I break the mold with the Thanksgiving Day food. Oh, Jesus, Bob. I mean, people know this already. Yeah, I'm I know. We've talked about some stuff. I don't – there's no real go-to, like, Thanksgiving Day food for me. Really? Yeah, like, I'm not a turkey guy. I'm just – I'm mm. not. Like, if I'm, if I'm actually – I haven't been home for Thanksgiving in three years – um, Black Friday, but it's if I were to be back home and mm-hmm. it's all there, like I'm grabbing a plate, I'm getting like ham, like I'm getting ham, like a mashed potatoes. I don't really like stuffing. 
a stuffing guy. Um, I'm not really into all the casseroles and shit like that. Like nope. I'm, I'm eating kind of weird. Yeah, Th- that's just me. Yeah, that's yeah. me. Yep. Yeah, that's no worries. Yeah. Fuck Bob. Yep. <laughs> yeah, I'm not. Right I'm out. Now. Yeah. yeah. What the yeah. fuck? <laughs> Shane, do you have any? I have to have stuffing. Oh yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. I yeah. like stuffing with gravy. With the gravy. Mm-hmm. Um, my mom makes a really good uh, sweet potato casserole with like uh, pecans. So Bob definitely can't have it. Yeah, yeah you gotta be careful it. on Thanksgiving with the nuts. People like to put nuts and shit. All the secretly. baked goods, the sweet potato shit. Yeah, yep. you gotta be careful. Yeah, so there's pretty much those stuffing two. and sweet potato casserole. Yeah, I'm a big sweet potato guy. I love them. Yeah, I love them. Mm-hmm. Jack, do you have any? I gotta have pie. What kind of pie? Apple. Oh, oh shit! Yeah. He's like, yeah, apple. You gotta have it. You, you gotta, have you gotta have pie. it. So that's not on our list. And I was just getting uh, like fruits and veggies for the trays and stuff that we're having. Like I was like, nobody has apple pie on the list, and that kind of popped in my head. I'm like, I think I'm gonna make apple pie. Yeah, Kim's making an apple pie. Yep, I requested that. Yep. Mm. Nice call. Yeah. So, qu- quick weird question: Have you ever seen the American cheese on an apple pie? Have you ever seen like, American people? cheese? Yeah, like a slice of American cheese on apple pie. You've seen that, right? No, no. I've never heard of that. Oh, don't make me look like a fucking prick right now, guys. American, I mean, American yellow I, cheese on apple pie. I mean, you're saying it like it sounds normal, but I don't. <laughs> I'm think not it fucking is. eating it. Put it up on the put it up on the screen. I'm not eating it, but it occurs. People, what? It's a thing. You type it in, you're gonna see it. That's some hood stuff, man. Yeah. See, That's look, disgusting. Look, 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 it's everywhere. It's everywhere. Don't fucking judge Why me. Why is it on what? so yummy? That is not. I'm good telling at you, all. it's a thing. It's this weird thing people do that I don't get that like just turns my stomach. Who did this? Who did it? That's what Who did it. <laughs> Who ruined this? How <laughs> can know. you ruin a la mode? Like, you don't put cheese on the bitch, you put ice cream. Could be big. This <laughs> article this says, Why do people put cheese on their apple pie? And the first line is, there's nothing more American than baseball and apple pie with cheese on top. Fuck that. <laughs> what yeah, are you this, talking about? This says cheese, specifically sharp cheddar, has been served with apple pie in the U.S. as early as the 1800s. Get the fuck Who out of here. Who did it? It was most likely born in England in the 17th century. What is going on? <laughs> the tradition is using dairy-based sauces in pies. This, this is almost no. like putting peanut butter in no. chili. Like we were talking about yesterday? Yeah. Yeah, That's people do that shit. Ugh, peanut fuck. butter on burgers and peanut butter on in, no, in, in like foul. meaty things. I don't get it. This is fucking, excuse me. It's weird. That's I want to try it, though. I'd try that. You, Maybe we, not, actually. All right, what I want you to do with a piece of pie this weekend is slap a fucking nice thing of American <laughs> cheese on it and look at it, melt it, and be like, Mm. I'm going to ask him to put it on. <laughs> yeah, that's so disgusting. Like, hey, can, babe, can you throw a piece of uh, American cheese on, American that, on that She'll be like, what she might, the she, fuck? Out of everything you've done. I mean, even like Mario Batali. Did he do it? Yeah. Um, see? Uh, he said, too, there may be nothing more American than wrote, apple pie with cheese. He definitely wrote that same article. He then. did. No, this is Olivia Harvey. Bitch. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck her. Let me see that picture again. Put that put that picture back. That's that is just That's so... not even melted. What's going on? <laughs> That's disgusting. That's what I mean. Like I I've I, I I you guys didn't even know it was a thing. I can't believe it. This is shocking. I can't live in this I, world. But it came up instantly. I'm like American cheese on apple, apple pie. pie. No. No. No, no, no. Listen, I love American cheese. Not on my watch. <laughs> not on my pie. <laughs> No. no. Kim's making Italian tomorrow. That's a thing. Yeah. Nice. I was like, can you make some like homemade pasta? And she's like, she's like, you really want me to make homemade pasta? I'm like, well, why not? You don't have to cook like a whole turkey. It takes all day. I was like, just cook some homemade pasta. So first timer. Oh, fuck yeah. I don't Holy. know how to say it. What's the little like potato? Gnocchis. Gnocchis. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yak, yak, like yacht, yeah, with an N in front of it, but it's a G, like gnarly. Say it again, gnocchi, gnocchi. Wow, <laughs> that's impressive. Fuck yeah, I'm a dog. Yeah, that's what she's making. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. My my name is not Ferrosi, by the way. Feroce. It's actually Feroce. That's how it's pronounced. No, it's in, not. In, yeah, in Italian, in, in 
Italy. The more you know. Italian for yeah. fucking A. <laughs> <laughs> that is it. Yeah. <laughs> what if it actually was? Oh, man, I'd be so This pumped. whole time. <laughs> It's not, but that's great. <laughs> yeah. Like yacht. That's a weird word, too. Yacht. I saw a meme. It was like it was like something about like someone coming like to the US and learning English as like their second or third language, right? It and makes they're, no they're sense. reading all these words and like making all this sense, and then you get yacht. Like yacht comes up. Like, like what the fuck? What's this? There's like three silent letters in that bitch. <laughs> Yacht. There's a fucking C in it. Yak yak it. It's a yakate. <laughs> Someone just pops up that comes up yacht and they just go boat. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. <laughs> big, oh, I big love boot. it. Yeah, no, my uncle, he's a world traveler. And I remember because, you know, Ameri- it's Ferozzi is Americanized, but he was like, yeah, it's actually pronounced Feroce. <laughs> I'm like, what is going on right now? I was, you know, a teenager. I'm like, are you serious? He's like, yeah. I'm like, I'm not going to believe it. So whenever, every now and then, like somebody that is Italian, I'll run into and they're like, your name is actually Feroce. And I'm like, I've heard that before. Yep. I don't know if it's real, but I've been told by people that are Italian that. It's like an old world. Yeah. Old world pronunciation. Yeah. If I was liver king in, it- in Italy, that's what it'd be. <laughs> You should start correcting people now. I'm just going to refer to myself as Seth Ferrosi does this. I'm going to put the little symbol on your name on the graphics. <laughs> with the accent. That... Yeah. Somewhere incorrectly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, man. That'll, that'll be the top news article. Like bodybuilding. Seth Ferrosi changes his name to Seth Feroce. <laughs> Feroce. <laughs> but it's like spelled the same, like on the article. They're like, wait. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> God damn it. Yeah, this is the shit we think about. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Mine's running free. But um, so the holidays are here. Mm-hmm. I love, I, again, I love the holidays. I love every season. I actually, I literally do. Yeah. You know, I don't know why people, you can't not like wake up, work really hard, and enjoy what life has to offer. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of really cool stuff. Every season, we find a reason to like make it awesome. But. Holidays are always cool because you get to give gifts and you get to receive gifts. Yep. Some people are gift givers. Some people are gift receivers. Some people, their door swings both ways. Mm-hmm. Um, but anything on your Christmas list this year, Bob? Anything that you're like, yeah, I, I actually want this. It doesn't have to be extravagant. Is there something that like, yeah, I you mean, know that you want Yeah, like as a gift? Yes. You, do, you got one. I I want to get a PlayStation 5. Oh, You're so man, there it is. <laughs> I am not full of shit. <laughs> it is number one on my list, Shane. We talked about this yet for like the past week. <laughs> so in the last 48 hours, I realized I want a PlayStation 5. There's When you know, you know. Yep. So I justified it for him yesterday because he's running... Or you're doing Iron Man 70.3, which is half, half the Iron, Iron Man. Man. Yeah. So you train half the time so the other half Gaming. can be split yeah yeah i'll just put it on my schedule yeah yeah if it's in the google calendar i have to do it yeah yeah nobody maybe start it. assign it assigning it to me yeah, <laughs> yeah i'll yeah. sign it to you but yeah make sure you put kim in this as well yes. but i haven't told kim about like how this is what i want for christmas yet i'm gonna tell her right after this say hey i want this for christmas by the way i just bought it. it'll be here on friday yep and i want four controllers <laughs> <laughs> Because no one will ever, ever need that. No. Uh-uh. But I just want options. Yeah. Yep. I mean, it, it, put it this way. Every year there is a certain, there's a certain amount of time that we get that we're like, fuck everything else in the world for five days. Mm-hmm. Five days, just leave me alone. Let me spend time with the fam. Let me get through Christmas to New Year's. Yep. And- Fucking, we got a couple of things to take care of in the in in the office with the company. Other than that, just leave me to fuck alone. Mm-hmm. This fits into that time, hundred percent. That's what this time is, right? Yep. It's worth the money. I think so. I think it is. I have to just get one game though. I don't have time for two games. No. Huh? Well, maybe two games, like one game that's gonna like need a lot of time, 
Then one that doesn't. And then one that's just fun. Yeah, I could pick up and play anything. Yeah, not one that's going to, like, I'm going to get pissed, like, all day. Yeah, in that time, it's like a literally a break from everything. You can work yeah. out in the morning, nothing else going on for the day. A little bit of fucking, a little bit of food, a lot of gaming. Yep. Majority gaming. Yeah. I miss waking up early to game. Like, I used to do that. I remember. Yeah. Yeah. Now you wake up to run a marathon. <laughs> yeah, I wake up and swim the English Channel. <laughs> I'm just, my skin still burns from the chlorine this morning. At least you're clean. <clears throat> yep. Not getting any gonorrhea in that pool. No. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Guaranteed. <sighs> Guaranteed no no gonorrhea. No chlamydia nope. either. But yeah, Shh. think of PlayStation. Shane, you got nice. anything on the list? Huh? I do, actually. So it's it's very adult that I have to get a, uh, I have to get an oven. Oh, I thought you were going to get, like, anal beats or oh, something. Oh, no. Like adult toys. That's yeah. No, no. Normally, I would ask for, like, gaming stuff. Yeah. No, I need an oven. An oven? Yeah. A range. Sucks. A new range. I have to light my oven right now with a fucking Bic lighter. Yeah, it's terrible. Shame. I know. You got to be super careful. I know. It, it, P.S. Don't call it an oven. Call it a range. A range. Yeah, yeah that's range. an adult thing. Yeah, so. range. Mm-hmm. Adults call it ranges. Mm-hmm. I found that wow. out, too. I need a range. It's a, it's a gas range since yeah, you have gas to range. It. Yeah, not a gun range, a range. A gas range, yeah, right? They'll, they'll know, yeah. Gas, yeah. Range. Yeah. gas range. It's not electric. No, not no. electric range. No, no. Gas range. Yeah. Gas is way better. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> I might need a new headset, though. Mine's making a little noise. Yeah. Put it on the card. Yeah. Put it on the company card. <laughs> I'll buy it right after this. Yeah, put it on the spreadsheet, too, so Heather can Just see what you bought. The, put it on the spreadsheet, spreadsheet as equipment, and then it's for the podcast. Yeah. You need yeah. a new podcast headset. Yeah. It's not easy. Merry Christmas. Yep. Thanks. You Ohio-hating motherfucker. Yep. Get, Make me, sure it better get cool. me one, too. Okay. <laughs> Fuck it. Let's all get one. Jack, you want a headset? <laughs> Get Jack a headset. Too. Just make sure mine's I, chrome. I, I want my name on it for sure. I can do that. All right. Huh. There's, gonna, there's gonna be a charge. It's gonna go on the spreadsheet, and Pat's gonna be like, "Hey, what the fuck, guys?" <laughs> and it says approved by. <laughs> <laughs> Add a column. I will. Add a column. Approved by. Approved by. Yep. We'll get a stamp. <clears throat> oh, that's funny as fuck. <laughs> Any, anything then then they'll see anything that has like my name by it it will be like that's definitely not for Seth that's not him that's not him that's not him, that's not him. but they won't ask you about it is the good thing so I'll just put your name and yeah. you won't even get questioned I'll, I'll get it'll, it'll happen after it's like 10 G's <laughs> I'll be like hey dude what are you doing what's going on over there <laughs> my cheeks are a racing simulator would be cool for in here too like a legit one oh, Oh, what is it? You see those like like yeah. legit racing? I, I saw setup. it on some of the car stuff I've been following, dude. Apparently, it's incredibly realistic. Very like, loud, like yeah. driving stick. Like yeah. it is legit. I kind of wanted it because it teach me how to like fucking do donuts. Yeah, I can actually catch the wheel back because I'm good at the donuts. I'm not good at like pulling out and not hitting trees. Yes, so, like that's... <laughs> I'm really good at pulling out. Oh my god! What? You should have never said that, Shane. <laughs> what? My you... heart just fucking skipped a beat. Yep. <laughs> God damn it, Shane. That's the. <laughs> Oy. I could not say it. I know. I know. You just don't, though. <laughs> say that shit in your head. You're right. Hold on, do you actually want a racing simulator? I'll buy it for you. No. <laughs> yeah. Well, I would like to see some options. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. They are pretty cool, though. I saw them. They're sick. It, it looks like a lot of fun. Like if you get like Forza, and then you get this like whole package, like it's Need for Speed. It's good times. How do you put that on the spreadsheet? Well, we'll have to probably break Driving it down. Simulator. <laughs> Shane's like, I'll just put it down. Unpack Shane's like, listen, I'm almost to the point where I can't get fired. Yep. I'll just, just call Heather and be like, hey, the guys told me to buy this. I don't know. They just wanted it. And then that's it. It's marketing. And that's, yeah, marketing. Yeah. Just take a picture of me in a shirt, play, like using it. We're <laughs> One good. time, we're, we're good. Yeah, Tell we're Gino, good. fuck himself. That's how the world works. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking IRS. <laughs> Fuck them, guys. They watch the podcast. Yeah, we're, we're cool. There's at least one person. <laughs> I think there is at least one person of every walk of life in every way, shape, or form of anything listens to this podcast. Well, I love like saying certain things that like 
are a bit controversial. And Make I'm like, no sense. I'm like, there's a thousand people that are shaking their heads at me right now. <laughs> like you're a fucking asshole. They're like, hey, I could arrest you for that. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, it's fucking crazy. I love it. Jack, anything on the Christmas list? Um, you know what? I had a, I had something on the list, but I already got it. Oh, so does that count? Yeah, sure. What was it? It's a, uh, it's called a baby Brezza. It's for the kid. Yeah. Damn it, Jack. I, so yeah. I have a thing with the baby breezes. Do you? So I had a baby breeze gifted to me mm-hmm. because it was a tradition that they were handing down to people. They didn't hand me their baby breeze. The people, Hannah's sister, somebody gifted them a baby breeze because mm-hmm. they were like, this is the greatest fucking thing you can ever have for your child. Mm-hmm. And then they're like, I'm buying you one. I'm like, I'll buy myself one. They're like, no, we didn't buy ours. So we're going to buy yours because it was such a godsend to us. What is this? It's a yeah. Keurig for your baby. It is. It's <laughs> okay. a freaking Keurig for the kid. Yeah. So all you do is put the bottle underneath it. You put the formula in the top, like dump formula into the top and holder. The water in the back. Water in the back and then press at how many ounces you want. And it puts it to a perfect temperature yeah. and fills it up to the amount you want. And then you just got to clean it like okay. uh, every other day. It's amazing. I can see why you wanted that. Yep. Yeah. So you'll never heat another bottle up ever again. Go through that bullshit in the microwave or yeah, warming yeah. a thing up on the stove. None of that bullshit. Just a baby breeze. So we had it gifted to us. What a fucking billion dollar idea. Oh, yeah. bro. They're 200 bucks and they are worth every fucking penny. Yep. Yeah. Because At Hannah's sister in the gifted us one for <laughs> SJ. And then I gifted my brother one whenever he had uh, Naomi. I'm like, it's like, bud, I'm getting you this. And he's like, dude, no. And I'm like, yes. Yeah. He's like, greatest thing we've ever gotten. Man, I'm going to yeah. use that as, like, a, a gift. Oh, anybody that's getting ready to have a baby, yeah. if you want to be oh. a fucking rock star, yeah. hero, baby breeza. <laughs> Facts. Because at, I think, at two months, you can start doing a baby breeza. Mm-hmm. Like, you go from re- ready to ready-made formula if they're bottle-fed, mm-hmm. ready-made to this, baby breeza. Best that's fucking gift. If they're not if they're not milking the teat, baby breeza. Mm. Best gift ever. Mm-hmm. Wow. Oh, rock star stuff. And whenever, if you really want to go over the top, make sure that you get them, like ask them what formula they use Mm -hmm. and then get them like an extra pack because the formula is like 40 bucks for like the big pack. Oh, dude. How many many bottles are you getting out of that? Depending, uh, we were doing, SJ was doing, I think 10 ounces twice a day. Holy cow. He's putting it away. Have you seen the size of (laughs) his head? (laughs) Where's he put it? His big head. Dude, he's fucking... Yeah. I mean... (laughs) My awkwardly fucking big noggin with tiny ears. Uh, (laughs) Fucking... (laughs) But uh, it's probably why he hits it off of everything. Literally everything. That fucking head has... I don't... I heard you coming down the hall the other day. And I think he like whipped his head back. Yeah. And I heard I heard it hit the wall because yeah. it was on my wall. Yeah. Yeah. And you just start laughing. You're like, dude, every what are you day, doing? Every day the kid <laughs> smacks his fucking head. A day has not gone by in like weeks. Yeah. Where I have not witnessed him hitting his head. He heals like so quick. It's like though. Wolverine. I was just gonna say that. <laughs> like that one on the corner was like a little that was a that was a fucking bump. All of a sudden, he's going to have things like crawling out of his fucking hands one day. I'm going to be like, there it is. Yep. He's doing box jumps, like <laughs> six-foot box jumps. <laughs> it's a fucking riot. That is funny. Hannah's fucking like, kids, dude. Oh, dude. Hannah's like, that kid fucking adores you. He is like, I'm like the coolest fucking thing in the world to him right now. I come home, he like starts clapping, <laughs> starts clapping. I hear him. Do you, do you walk in like that? Oh, yeah. Hannah, like, she looks at me and I'm like, I fucking, she's like, wrapped around your finger, you motherfucker. Because <laughs> he, he like, he'll see me come down the driveway. And then once I open the door, he's like, say he's in front of the, in front of the couch or somewhere down the hall playing with the girls. And he's, <laughs> he starts hearing, I'm like, hey, buddy. And, he gets off, does like a little dance, like starts trotting because he's so excited. I'm like, I fucking love this kid. I'm so this is the coolest thing in the world. You should start like like when you get home, like doing like like a, like a finger point to him, and like he does it back. Like do it so many times that it just was like that's your thing. 
<laughs> bro, it is it is so much fun. I love it. That's cool. Yeah. But the kids, Adeline, Christmas list for her, teenage shit. Yeah. Teenage shit. Clothes. Fuck. She's straight teenager. Emmy, she just wants like gymnastics stuff. The kid loves gymnastics. A little bit. It's all that matters to her in this world. She reads books at nighttime because she needs to work on her reading, and she just got good at reading. Yeah. Now reads every reads a chapter a night now. I'm yeah. like, Hannah's like, yeah, that's how it's supposed to go. Like, you make the kid do something, they learn. I'm like, yeah, I know, but I'm not a reader. Yeah. Nobody ever made me do this. I'm more of a writer. I'm more <laughs> of a doer. <laughs> Bend over. <I'm> fucking doer. <laughs> uh, then, uh, yeah. We're gonna get SJ like uh, like a bunch of shit for the playroom, like tool set, stuff like that, like that play, that, I don't know, play school stuff. Yeah, yeah, that's like we're looking at stuff for my nephew. Yeah, I love buying for kids. Like kids' toys is so fucking fun. I have I'm like reliving it, and I'm buying things like I didn't get. Mm-hmm. I'm like I'm buying you that because. I mean, it goes back to, like, the bougie as fuck shirt we're doing. Uh-huh. Like, I like redneck bougie shit. Uh-huh. Like, I like... Everybody likes nice things, but it's... I mean, it's hard to get to the point where you can afford pretty much anything you want. And I remember not having money to do those things. And then once I started getting some money, I was like, man, I get to get something nice. And then I used to save to go out to a nice restaurant once a year. And I'm like, now I... I can go every single weekend if I'd like, but I just don't have the time because I'm always working and doing things. So it still was just as special to be able to go out to that nice dinner. Yep. And the redneck bougie shit, like having a staccato, like like an $1,800, $2,000 pistol. Who doesn't want one? I don't know anybody that doesn't. Yep. They're super cool. I got to buy one. It's like a prized fucking possession. Yep. Shoots awesome. Feels good. I love it. That's a redneck bougie thing. Fuck yeah. A TRX. It's a redneck bougie truck. (laughs) Who buys a TRX? Nobody like, like I don't see like car people buying that truck. Mm -hmm. That truck was made for dumbasses like me. (laughs) They're like, yeah, fuck yeah. $100,000 truck. I can drive on the road and off the road just as fast. (laughs) Sign me up. I'll take one of them. I'll take one of those. I like that. (laughs) That's that's my shit, and I love it. Like, but and for me on Christmas, um, the other bougie thing that I like is like things on my feet. Mm-hmm. Like, I like nice things on my feet. Yep. Like really nice work boots, really nice nice boots, like nice slippers. Mm-hmm. So I told Hannah I want new slippers. Yep. That's what I want. I want some fire fucking slippers. I love them. Yeah, I usually do. I usually get slippers. Yeah. Every every Christmas. Yeah. yeah. My mom usually gets me slippers. Yeah. yeah, I like them. That's like my my thing is slippers. Yeah, like cologne. Cologne's usually oh, like a, that's my once a year thing on Christmas too. Really good call. Yeah, like yeah. some nice cologne. Yep. Yeah, Same. and like it's always cool to like switch it up. Like I don't really like go through it f- like quickly. No. Uh-uh. So like I might start having like a few in the lineup like season to season. Oh yeah. And like I like having options yeah yeah it's always nice to smell good yeah it is yep yeah it's i like i mean i like dude i love can i love fragrances i love candles Mm -hmm. that's a big thing kim did a really good job with fragrances in the house this year yeah it just smells like christmas we are over the top in my house yeah it's we have so many fucking candles i'm such a I'm bad with it. Like, I walked in the Yankee Candle. We went to the mall for the first time in fucking months. Mm-hmm. And the lady's like, all right, we have candles, this and that. And I'm like, I, I know. I saw the brochure. And I was I like, an and email. she's like, we have this. And I'm like, ma'am, I already have 25 candles at my house. I'm just here because I'm in the store. I'm going to buy more. Yeah. And she's like, oh, this is great. You're, I don't got to sell you shit. Nope. I leave with like fucking eight more candles. And she's like, have a good day. <laughs> da, da, da. And I'm like, yeah. You fuck. Kim was pissed. Like one of the candles, like the wick was just fucked. Ah, and was burning weird. And then it just stopped. Like it was bad. And then I was like, I'll fix that. And she's like, Okay, yeah, you're gonna fix this. So like I melted it down. And, like you just had to like scoop around the wick. Yeah, so it got a little longer. And like I fixed it. And she came over. And she's like, You fixed that candle. I'm like, Damn right I did. Yeah. Like I just fixed a fucking car. You know. 
It was a fucking candle. She's like, that was a $9 candle. I'm like, you're <sighs> Yeah. We bought a wood wick from Yankee. Yeah. That fucking thing burned so fast. Yeah. $36 candle just smoked. And I'm like, this is bullshit. <laughs> bullshit but then you go get the other candles at bath and body works or whatever that store is called like they're crazy great fragrances but they burn in like three days yeah they're cooked three days cheap wax i don't know if that's what it is i, I have no clue I'm not an expert i just buy them i used to make candles did you no no <laughs> i believed you <laughs> i was like hey, she's like i can't wait to hear this one bob was a candle manufacturer what Apparently, there's a place down there in Pittsburgh that you can uh, make candles. Hmm. I think Britt and Lids were telling me about it. Yeah. Good times. I'm just trying to think of like a clever name if I had a candle shop. Oh, yeah. It's like uh, it's like the Lit. Candle Lab or something. Yeah. Or wax Lit. on, wax off. Wax Lab. <laughs> uh, you know, uh, this is my other thing real quick. My balls are vibrating. Uh, it's my phone. Oh, not, I thought that was not my, not my actual oh, balls. <laughs> Hold on. Fucking, my balls are, you know, that's a tough thing, too, about taking a bunch of gear and no longer taking gear. Man, my nuts didn't come back. I'm still all tiny and shit. I have a fucking couple of oversized grapes down there. He used to have fucking massive nuts. SJ's testicles are bigger than mine. <laughs> <laughs> fucking hell. Oh, man. Wait, was that your thing? You, had to, you said you had one more thing. Was it your nuts vibrating? Oh, no, no, I'm done. I was just saying. I just got <laughs> some texts. But uh, Christmas movies. Yeah. Any traditions that occur coming up? Just getting everybody in the holiday mood. Listen, we've been Ooh. here for an hour, but Christmas movies. We Anything that you guys do over Thanksgiving, like the Thanksgiving Day weekend, anything you guys do as kids that you carried now or... Uh, Movies that you watch or traditions on Thanksgiving? I don't know if it was, like, on Thanksgiving as far as movies, but, like, our big thing was, like, all the the old school, like, cheesy Christmas, like, cartoons. Oh, like... Like, uh, like just the original Frosty and, like, like the Claymation, like, yeah. Rudolph. And, yeah. like, the, that was, like, our staple. Like, my, and my dad was into it. Like, oh, yeah, like he that's was. What, that's for sure where it came from. Yeah. Like, those were just huge. Yeah. My mom didn't like them. Really? No, she wasn't into those. Yeah, I didn't give a fuck. No. Your dad stoned just yeah. watching. He's like, yeah, like claymation. Yeah. Let's eat some like cookies, dude. Like, I just got a G.I. Joe <laughs> watching fucking Frosty. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yep. But, yeah, um, that's what we do. Yeah. And yeah, mine's not on Thanksgiving either, but I like uh, Christmas Story. Oh. It's a good movie. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we'll, we'll at a later date, and then once we get closer to Christmas, I want to rank... We'll be ranking Christmas movies for sure. I'm going to judge the fuck out of you guys on them. Yeah. Yeah, that'll be fun. <laughs> you can judge me. <laughs> Any traditions, Jim? Oh, yeah. Uh, mine's def with the family. Mine's yeah. definitely It's a Wonderful Life. Oh, really? It's too deep. It's yeah. just Jimmy yeah. Stewart. Yeah. Amazing. Amazing. Uh, you know, Hannah, uh, she doesn't know those movies. You know, Neither does know. my wife. Yeah, no, she's, she's a little doesn't. young. She doesn't know those movies. We tried um, to watch it last year. I was like, babe, you got to... Yeah. You know, it's black and white. It's yeah. old. Oh, it's, it's old like, as uh, fuck. You got to sit down and watch this. It's, it's going to make you cry. She how, fell asleep. <laughs> First five what, minutes. That's, that's, that's like, the disrespect. Do. Yeah, I, I I agree. You can't say that You can't say that to her face, but you can say it to us. No, but she's going to listen to this later. So. <laughs> 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 It'll be great. I can't wait to talk about it. <laughs> In that movie, uh, so I didn't know this in old movies for snow, they used uh, spray-painted cornflakes. They'd spray-paint cornflakes white for the snow. Hmm. Or, this is fucked up, they would also use asbestos. Oh, oh shit. Uh, for snow, what? in movies, <laughs> yeah. they used asbestos. A little bit of cancer action. Yeah. going to kill you. Breathe that shit in. Yeah. Can you not fucking yeah. believe that? I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. I, I, it was one of the weird facts. <laughs> the, you know, that weird facts page I follow. <laughs> yeah, so they had spray painted fucking cornflakes or asbestos. Nice. So whenever you watch a black and white movie, that's what they're using. Nice asbestos snow shower. Ugh. Oh, the government said it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> OSHA approved it. And then you find out it fucking killed you and you got mesothe mesothelioma. Yeah. 
And then he got a lawsuit. You're good. <laughs> and then Edgar Snyder's chewing on your ass. <laughs> Oh god damn it. <clears throat> Fuck yeah. No, uh uh Thanksgiving was always was always football at at, yeah. at the house. Mm. And then um uh <laughs> yeah. I just thought about like I've always known it, but like on Thanksgiving, like just seeing like right after we're done eating, football games on, and like my dad and my uncle are in the same position in the lazy boy chairs, fucking back passed out oh yeah like passed out and i'm like they burned one ate dinner yeah sat on the couch passed out oh yeah absolutely and it's just oh no it's just so funny it, looking back on well at my house uh we always used we did thanksgiving at my parents house every single year it was always a fucking big party mm -hmm. 30 plus people and i remember in my college days like my parents were they loved events they loved having parties and partying mm -hmm. so like we'd always get drinks and everybody get a little tuned up and all that but once i was in college like i was a little bit of a wild fuck smoking weed fucking partying yep. well things got a little out of hand one year <laughs> that we were smoking weed in the garage and it turned out like some of the adults were smoking weed with us and turned out the whole house smelled like weed and my mom's like hey dude can you fucking cut the shit? I'm like, it's okay. Everybody's cool. She's like, no, it's not. The whole fucking house smells like weed. And it was fucking, we played, we were playing ping pong, pool. We were fucking, it was a wild Thanksgiving. I think there was like 42 people there that year. Damn. It yeah. was a fucking party. That, that was our, that was our Thanksgiving. And like, my mom was like apologizing to like some of the adults. And like, we're all grown kids, yeah. you know? And, uh, and they're like, no, that's fine. This is actually a lot of fun. <laughs> So everybody's. I was actually burdening it with him. Sorry, sorry <laughs> That's about that. That's pretty much what occurred. Everybody's yeah. like, "Fuck man, we don't give a shit." It's like eleven thirty at night. There's still forty some people at my parents' house getting down. It was a blast. I remember like hiding that, like having to like wash oh, yeah. up and. Well, that was the thing. We got to the point where we we're like, I, I was. We were pretty fucked up. We're a bunch of college kids, and we're like, "Fuck it, I don't care. I'm gonna burn it in the garage. It's fucking twenty degrees outside right now. Yeah, there's like ten people that want to burn this. So fuck it." You think every one of my aunt and uncles didn't do that? <laughs> well, that's pretty much what was yeah. said. Yep. But we'd always do, uh, like, uh, there'd be, my parents were big with games. Ping pong, pool, darts, mm -hmm. uh, card games. So everybody would always, dinner would be great, watch games, put on Christmas music, and then everybody would start getting a little crazy, a little wild. There was, there were so many kids in my family. Our thing was... Um, like my aunt, my aunt Pam would just do like <coughs> tons of crafts. Oh, that's cool. I like would make ornaments, yeah, like, which was cool as fuck. And like she was like super, super artsy. So like she'd show you how to make. Oh, one. she'd be into and it. And then each one would make it like yeah. like a tree with each of your faces from your family. Super cool. And then like you'd show like your yeah. mom afterwards. Like it was it was cool. Eight, eight year olds can't smoke weed. So no. That was cool. <laughs> yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. yeah. But no, those are cool traditions. Yeah. I think it's important to make sure that, you know, things like that carry on. Yeah. Like within households and like at, at any holiday, whatever it is, not just Thanksgiving, but whether it's, you know, Christmas or Easter or summertime parties thing. I love traditional things because it um, it holds weight in my heart. Mm -hmm. So if there's certain things that hold weight in my heart, it'll hold weight in my children's heart as well. For sure. It'll be something that they'll be able to pass down into their kids and doing all kind of fun stuff. Yep. I think, think that's important for the traditions that we have in our households, no matter what it is and whether you agree with it or not, I think it's important to do. Mm -hmm. I'm seeing it with my, my oldest nephew. Like he just, he absorbs everything like you do in front of him now. Yeah. Like him being at Iron Man, like he won, like it's all he does now. He like draws like Iron Man. Yeah like logos and talks about like running and like Isn't it crazy? all this shit. And then like, th that's the time when I was remembering all these traditions and like you do one thing with them over a holiday, they remember it forever. You know, I know there, I think it was Jordan Peterson and I think it's just something that's well known. He was referring to it, but like the first years of a child's life is so impactful. Mm -hmm. and I can't remember if it was the first seven or nine years, like in within the first seven or nine years, there is so much, that occurs from a uh, like a absorbing standpoint for children. It's crazy. Yeah, like th it's a known thing that within those first years. Yep, those values are learned at that age. Yeah, which and is obviously, crazy. yeah, things can change, but that that yep. so that I mean your nephew fits into that. Yeah, 
Like you could tell that kid like something in, about himself, and he's like, "That's me." Yep. I, yeah. Mm-hmm. And it can stick with him. It can like mold him over the next certain amount of years. Yep. And those years are impactful as well in how he develops. Yep. It's fucking wild. Love it. I don't know how I turned out to be such a dickhead. <laughs> uh, I know because I was in a wood shop when I'm a child. <laughs> Hang out with guys that are motherfucking the world. Yep. Oh my god. <laughs> I love it. Oh, what a good time. Yeah. Well, we got a lot of work to do. Finish up. Yep. Everybody, thank you for all the support. Mm-hmm. This has always been this is always a good time. Yeah. Felt good today. Uh we have all of the deals. Everything going tomorrow. Thanksgiving Day, Thanksgiving night, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, All American Roughneck. 9 p.m., Axe and Sledge. Eastern Standard Time, everybody. If you have problems or fuck up, reach out to customer service to the according company. All-American Roughneck fuck up, All-American Roughneck customer service. Axe and Sledge fuck up, Axe and Sledge customer service. Even though they're the same people, they are delineated. The, the, the time is delineated between the two. That's why they're separated. And you can't cross over. There's no crossover. Yep. Systems don't allow that. Keeps it nice and organized. Software stuff, guys. Yep. I know you don't understand it. Software people do. I don't. Just separate it. It's going to stay that way. <laughs> organized. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are like Seth. You fucking moron. Just wrap it the fuck up. Stop talking. You're making it worse. <laughs> You're confusing them. them. Stop <laughs> it. I'm, I'm so confused right now. <laughs> All American Roughneck fuck up. All American Roughneck customer service. Yep. Don't email All American Roughneck being like, I got an action sledge problem. Yeah. And Shane, you got something uh, to say? Yeah, for, we forgot to talk about shipping. Oh, Just real oh quick. Jesus Christ. Just real, quick. Real, quick. real quick. Yeah. Go ahead. What do you got? Uh, please allow seven to 10 business days to process your order. Mm-hmm. And it's a nightmare with delivery companies. So even if you select. Standard shipping, it still could take a week to get to you. Mm -hmm. Yes. It is not our fault. Shipping is a fucking nightmare. Maybe, like, edit this in right after there. Everyone, this is an edit into the podcast because we didn't mention shipping until the end. Yeah. And then what Shane just said... This is going to be funny in the podcast. I really, you guys are complete fuck up. You're talking to us, but telling them to edit. Yeah. We're talking to you from the future. Yeah. Yeah. Or actually, the yeah, the future and the past at the same time. Yeah. So Doc in Brown the, stuff. In the present. Yeah, I got to get myself a DeLorean. Love presents. <laughs> but shipping is a cunt right now, everyone. Please be patient. Yep. Enter the correct email address, enter the correct address, and allow seven to 10 business days to process your order. Shipping is a fucking nightmare. Choose the best shipping ob- uh, uh, option for your place. Some people like UPS better. Some people like FedEx better. Some people like USPS better. The second it leaves our warehouse and goes into their hands, please allow them time as well because this is a nightmare of a time of year. Mm -hmm. Be patient. Enter all the correct information so that we can stay up to date with everything, and that's the reason that we have customer service and people like Shane working here to track everything. Yep. If you don't get an order confirmation after a week, then reach out to customer service to give our people time. Good job. All right. Well, I don't know how they're going to edit this in, but it was a good job. Yep. (laughs) (laughs) All right, everybody. Thank you for all the support. Do a good job. Carry on those family traditions. Make sure you don't be too much of a prick to your family. Mm -hmm. Make sure you just stiff dick the old lady. And ladies, rub that ass up on your man. He's going to like it. It's a good time. I like it. (laughs) Enjoy the holidays, everybody. Thank you. I love you. Bye-bye. Love you.